you guys so for a whole entire month i put rice water in my hair twice a week i only skipped one week and i only did it once that week but other than that i did it twice a week for every single week obviously this is not my real hair it's a headband wig from amazon but um i'm going to show you my before and how my hair looked oh no no oh no no she's confident oh no no oh no no and i'm down with it Okay, so it's actually the next day. My hair's dry. I just did it like this. And now we're going to take it down and compare it to like the lettering on this shirt as just a way to measure it. Okay, we're just going to take this part and just pull it down. So I would say about here. It's kind of a reach here, but... Um, we're going to put it at the end of the leaf. Oh, this side's a little longer. I did cut my hair before on accident. We're going to say about here. We're going to leave it at this. At the bottom of the lettering on both sides. And as of my two front strands, I would just say down to the, like the beginning of the shirt. Collarbone about. Yeah, collarbone. This is collarbone and... This side is also collarbone. So hopefully my hair grows this week. I'm praying it does. So if it does grow, it's rice water and prayer. So. Okay, so next I am going to show you the steps on what I did to the rice water. I tried to add a little extra water than the rice, but I'm going to just show y'all exactly how I made it each and every time. And I did not measure it, but if y'all just like eyeball it based on how I did it, then it should work for you the rice that i'm using i don't think it really matters what kind of rice as long as it's white rice i just ordered this big bag off of amazon and i'm going to wash off my rice because that's what everybody says to do and then i'm going to soak it save this for when my other bottles come so overall the smell is pretty bad i added some essential oils into it because i heard that's what other people did in order to um, make it smell a little less bad i'll add a little bit of orange and then a little bit of mint the mint actually makes your scalp feel pretty good and it's good for circulation and all of that and you can get it cheap off like amazon or whatever just make sure it's just straight up um peppermint oil I've heard that other people put peppermint essential oils in there, so I'm going to put a little bit of that into it so that it doesn't stink. And here's a few clips of me trying it out throughout the whole month. So I'm just going to show you all the whole process of it and just showing me vlogging, me doing my hair and all that kind of jazz. Okay, so my hair... <laughs> my hair is um brushed and i just this is plain water i sprayed my hair with water and i brushed it because my hair was in a protective style it was just in braids underneath my wig and it just had a little bit of oil and stuff in it of course so i sprayed with some water and i brushed through it so that there's no tangles or anything in my hair and so now i'm gonna go through with this rice water and i'm gonna part my hair into sections i'm going to spray it massage it a little bit into my scalp and then I'm going to put it in braids. So we're just going to do that. So I only have this little bit of rice water left from the bottle. Here are my braids. And we are going to be rocking this for the next three hours. So the rice water did make my hair a little dry. That's why I took one day off for one of the weeks. But I also tried tea tree oil because I needed something to help moisturize my hair which um, it didn't quite moisturize my hair that much, but um, it didn't get too crazy dry. It was just way drier than it normally is. It's week three, I put it on my hair. 
Um, I feel like it's been growing. I put a little bit on my eyebrows because I have been using castor oil, which actually has been working because I have like really light eyebrows for my dark hair. And uh, I feel like my hair's been growing, but we'll see. It's actually Tuesday because I was like working on like my finals. And so, yeah, it's Tuesday and then we're going to do it again Friday. And then last day will be next Friday. But you see how to find my curls look? They don't normally look like this. They're dripping, but they don't normally look as big, the curls. So we'll just see. We'll see what's happening. Okay, so I'm doing my hair. Sorry, I look a mess right now. But I'm doing my hair and I kid you not, my edges grew. Like they grew, they didn't look like this. I wish I took a before and after of my edges, but I've noticed my edges never just lay by themselves like this. Look, I didn't even lay them. Like, I, all I did was massage my scalp. And I have all this. I did not have all this before. They're, like, literally curling up. Okay, so now I'm going to find out the results. I'm actually doing it for the last time today. And then I'm going to measure my hair and compare it to the shirt again. Um, so I did it in like a similar hairstyle as last time. My hair is dried and now it's time for measuring. So I think we should just start off with these two little strands like how we did last time. Last time it was collarbone level. This time I would say it's shirt level. Like about a little past collarbone. A little past. What do y'all think? Well this one's collarbone level too. So I guess it's kind of the same. We would just have to compare the clip to last times. And then as far as this hair, let me get up for this one. I don't know. I will leave it up to y'all guys because I don't see like really different growth, like a lot of growth. It might have been easier if I just straightened the pieces. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all like it. If you made it this far and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I have a whole bunch of hair videos. If I want to check out my hair video playlist. And um, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye.